It says, At the same time there came disciples unto Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? The disciples, imagine this, right? Imagine if you were one of God's disciples. And you're sitting there riding shotgun with God. You're hanging out with God. Amen. You're watching all these mighty, wonderful things happening with Jesus Christ, the Creator of everything. Yeah. And you start, man, yeah, I'm one, of the one, I'm one of the twelve. You know what I mean? I'm one of His guys, right? He picked me. I'm a special one. I wonder if I'm better than you. Huh? Sure. You know, imagine, imagine the disciples amongst themselves full of pride. Well, you know, I mean, I saw you did that, but I've done this. You know what I mean? I mean, I bet when we get up there, I bet you I'm just a, a shoulder ahead of you. What do you think? I bet God will tell us who's the best. I bet I'm the best. You think you're the best? How does God respond to this act, this unsober mind of puffing yourself up and thinking, look how good I am because I'm hanging out with God, right? Or because I have God. As a Christian, we ought not have this attitude either. Look, he said, and Jesus called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them and said, verily I say unto you, Except ye, who's he talking to? The disciples. Yeah. Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. God said, who's the biggest and best? The most humble. That's right? right? Yeah, that's good. Put yourself down. Yeah. Don't put yourself up. Amen. Esteem right. others better than yourself. Yeah. Right? Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and He will lift you Amen. up. 